The KAGS Weather Camera is brought to you by Lone Star Roof Systems. No jingles, just roofs. A little bit Thursday evening. It's a cloudy one out there and on the cool side as well, sitting at 45 degrees here in Bryan College Station. Notice the roadway is a little bit on the wet side out there. Luckily, though, temperatures well above freezing, so we're not dealing with any icy conditions out there. Still dealing with a northerly breeze across the Brazos Valley as a secondary cold front works its way in. Temperature sitting at 45 here in Bryan College Station, 44 in Hearn, 42 degrees in Cameron. Most of the area dealing with wind chills in the 30s right now, so a little bit uncomfortable 35 is that feels like temperature in Madisonville. It feels like 43 degrees up there in Temple. Most of the rain showers again beginning to exit the Brazos Valley as that weak cold front works its way in kind of ushering in a little bit of drier air. Still some drizzle though across parts of Bryan College Station. It's extending up towards Hearn as well, but the area of concentrated precip beginning to exit the Brazos Valley. Now we saw the precip because of this upper level low that is tracked across southern Texas today that uh, has and increase the precip as well as the cloud cover here in the Brazos Valley. Now, as we head into the weekend, going to see a little dip in the jet stream just to our north. That's going to usher in another weak cool front as we head into Sunday evening into Monday morning. Not really going to drop temperatures too much, though, just kind of keep them in check. We're also going to notice an upper level low that develops across the Baja of California. Keep an eye on that upper level low as we head into next week. Just kind of chills out here across northern parts of Mexico. We actually see a ridge build across central parts of the country. That's going to increase our temperatures into the mid 70s. It's going to be close to average, but also notice another upper level low develops across the Pacific North West. These two upper level lows are actually going to merge over the southwest heading into late parts of next week and eventually this storm system going to eject towards the north and the east. That's going to increase storm chances for the Brazos Valley in about a week. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that. Going to be some snow as well for the Texas Panhandle extending into Colorado as well as parts of New Mexico. Now looking at future radar, notice not too much going on overnight in terms of any rain and that'll continue into tomorrow afternoon. Going to see temperatures warm into the upper 50s and lower 60s and it's going to be really pleasant out there. Not going to experience any type of precipitation. What we do have to deal with is actually some fog. Notice by 1130 we start to see visibilities decreasing to around two miles of Bryan College Station. Her going to see that visibility drop to about a mile. Now as we head into early tomorrow morning, visibility down to zero in Hearn, about a mile in Bryan College Station. So like we talked about a few minutes ago, make sure you're using those low beams uh, if you have to go out and drive in the fog. We're going to see that fog quiff quickly lift though as that sun rises and we'll have full visibility as we head towards about 9 or 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Temperatures warm as we head into the weekend into the 60s and eventually into the 70s by early next week. Ooh. I'm not mad at those 70s temperatures. I will say, though, I don't know, but is is Justin mad at, at today in the I'm Aggies? never mad. Well, I'm <laughs> never mad. We do have high school football tonight. Playoffs start. Uh, a little Dude. cold out there, but it's gonna be chilly. Uh, playoffs are here, so we're going to get you set for all that coming up. Plus, some big news.